I mean, we're all sitting at home now and it would just be nice if, you know, we could pick up one or two skills. And if you're one of those people that want to pick up software engineering as your skill, but maybe money is a problem for whatever reason, I mean, I understand what is going on in the world. We all like free stuff, <laughs> regardless. So you might want to check out these free resources that, would want, that could help you pick up coding and help you learn how to code. everybody and welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is adora please make sure that you subscribe and if you like me or you like this video please make sure that you give it a thumbs up i mean who doesn't like free stuff right so yes in today's video i'm walking you through a few free resources that i know exist that you can use to learn to code the first resource is free code camp free code camp is more than a resource it's more than a place to learn to code it's like a whole new community. A bunch of people have learned how to become awesome web developers through them. And if you're looking to learn how to code in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and build for the web in general, that would be a very good place to start, in my opinion. It has online chat rooms, like I said, it's like a full community, and a bunch of people there do like really, really amazing things, help people out and stuff. The second one for me is Udacity. There are a lot of, well, their nano degrees are not free, but there are a bunch of courses that you can take on Udacity that would require you not to pay something. There are a bunch of introductory courses, getting into programming, getting into a language that you can take on Udacity. They're pretty simple. I like the way Udacity's courses are structured and you can go check them out sometime, see if it's something that you like. And if you do, you can go take them. Um, before maybe you move on to other courses that can be paid that you can also take. I think Udacity is also an amazing place to get free courses. The third one would be Udemy. Udemy has courses for beginners, some of them free, some of them you will have to pay for, but at a low cost, they're not like high end, really expensive. So if you're looking for a way to, you know, get to start doing programming stuff and you don't have like a lot of money in your accounts or a lot of resources under your belt this is also a good place to go that you can learn a lot from i know a bunch of people that are taking udemy courses and still take udemy courses today and it helps them it has helped a lot of people next one on my list would be plural sites even if they just finished their free april campaign where all courses on plural sites were free throughout the month of april you can still get on plural sites for free however it's just for 10 days and after that you're going to have to pay depending on whatever plan you want to opt in for but plural sites has amazing courses amazing tutors and you're going to learn like a whole lot so you can still choose to give it a shot if it's something that you know you're willing to try and it's something that you can afford or you can just decide to try the first 10 days learn as much as you want to learn um, be good. The next for me would be educative and one of the reasons I like educative is because it doesn't take the video learning conventional approach. There are a bunch of courses on educative, you learn a lot from educative but it's text based so you get to read like you're reading a book and you get to follow the curriculum in that order. There will be things, there could be like maybe one video small, one small video, one code snippet, a few tests, and all these things but like it's a it's a very interactive way to get people to want to learn about how to build software and there's so many courses on educative which i love it's a platform that i feel you should try out as well there are some courses that are not paid for there are some free courses but there's some courses that you would have to pay for also they're currently doing this thing i don't know if the scholarship is over yet but they had a campaign where throughout this whole covid period they were giving like you know free access to the platform for three months if you wanted to learn anything and anything at all so it's a good place in my opinion to start to learn the next on my list would be youtube youtube is just like a hub for different things like you can learn anything on youtube how to cook how to be a musician how to be a makeup artist how to be a software engineer, how to be a life coach. There are so many creators on YouTube that are doing amazing things 
um, and I feel like you can learn from. Some of them, if you want to learn to code, in my opinion, would be Free Code Camp, Programming Knowledge, The New Boston, and CS Dojo. These are really amazing channels, and if you want to learn how to program, these are places that you can also start with, you know. Coursera is another really amazing place that has some free courses that you can use to learn on different domains. And one of the things I, one of the reasons I like all these different websites is because they have so many things that you can use to learn across multiple domains, front end, or back end, or DevOps, or mobile development, or whatever it is, whatever it is that you want to try and learn, AI, machine learning, data science, whatever it is, you name it. There's so many things that you can learn from. And Coursera has a bunch of con nice content as well. And as with Udacity, where you can get like degrees and certificates and stuff, you can also get that with Coursera and you can get that with Free Code Camp. So if you are someone that likes Pali, you know, you can try Coursera. But you know, if you are trying to get the Pali, you're going to have to pay. One place I also happen to love that also happened to help me a lot when I was in the university was MIT Open Courseware. That place has everything and they're not teaching you how to code like oh this is html css javascript right it's, the amazing thing is that they teach you computer science like you can go to the mit open courseware and take like a computer science course learn about data structures learn about algorithms learn about um artificial intelligence understand you know decision trees understand informed search on informed search understand primitive data types objects different things in computer science that you can learn and the final one for me would be microsoft virtual academy it's a place where you can go and you can learn so many things like you can learn about power apps you can learn about asp.net you can learn about azure for free and it's a really amazing thing if you're trying to get started and get into that whole c sharp.net space it's also a nice place to go check as well there's so many more in this video that i couldn't mention because trust me if i try to mention them it will take a very long time however i hope that i've been able to point out a few places that you can start from if you're trying to get some resources that you can use to learn to code thank you for watching this video to the end if you liked this please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe the button is here and i will see you in the next video bye Oh, 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 oh,